Virgin Mary. It is a virgin of our baptism. We are her spiritual sons and daughters. And so there is enmity between the seed of the serpent, namely all demons, okay, all devils, but also in, a, in another uh, similar way between all men who have given themselves over to be collaborators with the work of the devil. There is enmity. There's no doubt about it. So the closer we are to our lady, the more we are able to share in her victory. And so that is really the goal of our life here on earth, to always draw more and more close to our lady. This is the ideal of St. Maximilian Kolbe, that from day to day, we will give ourselves over to our lady more generously. That from day to day, we will draw draw closer to our Immaculate Heart, and from day to day we'll be, we will become more efficacious instruments in her Immaculate Hands to crush with her the head of the serpent and his seed. And so there's no better way to draw close to our Lady than that of total consecration, right? We also have this teaching in the lives of the saints, specifically St. Louis de Montfort, and St. Maximilian Kolbe. We want to draw as close as we possibly can to Our Lady, and we do that through total consecration. We want to totally consecrate ourselves and all of our possessions, all of our property, everything that has to do with our lives. And we can even say our country, right? Since Our Lady is the patroness under this title of the Immaculate Conception. So we're blessed as Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate uh, to have this as uh, the principal part of our charism, that we are entirely consecrated to Our Lady by a vow. And we're blessed today to have two vocations to aspirants who will be making their total consecration after be, being invested with the medal of the Immaculate Conception as it was first known, now known as the Miraculous Medal, and to unite themselves with Our Lady, to give themselves as her instruments in this fight against evil, and uh, to become entirely hers, and to share, ultimately, in her victory. So at this point, we invite Joseph and Ryan to come and uh, kneel, before the altar, and we will bless the metals and then invest them with the metals. After which, being invested with the metal of the Immaculate Conception on today or feast day, they will pronounce their own uh, consecration to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Oh, 
Joseph, take this holy metal and wear it with faith and handle it with due devotion, so that the holy and immaculate Queen of Heaven may protect and defend you, and as she is ever ready to renew her wondrous acts of kindness, may she obtain for you in her mercy whatever you humbly ask of God, so that both in life and in death you may rest happily in her motherly embrace. Ryan, take this holy metal, wear it with faith, and wear it with faith, and handle it with due devotion, so that the holy and immaculate Queen of Heaven may protect and defend you, and as she is ever ready to renew her wondrous acts of kindness, may she obtain for you in her mercy whatever you humbly ask of God, so that both in life and in death you may rest happily in her motherly embrace. Amen. First, Ryan to do his consecration, and then we have Joseph. O Immaculate Queen of Heaven and Earth, refuge of sinners, and our most loving Mother, God has willed to entrust the entire order of mercy to you. I, an unworthy sinner, cast myself at your feet, humbly imploring you to take me with all that I am and have, wholly to yourself as your possession and property. Please make of me, of all my powers of soul and body, of my whole life, death, and eternity, whatever pleases you. If it pleases you, use all that I am and have without reserve, wholly to accomplish what has been said of you. She will crush your head, and you alone have destroyed all heresies in the whole world. Let me be a fit instrument in your immaculate and most merciful hands for introducing and increasing your glory to the maxim in all the many sturdy and different souls, and thus help extend, as far as possible, the blessed kingdom of the most sacred heart of Jesus. For wherever you enter, you obtain the grace of conversion and sanctification, since it is through your hands that all graces come to us from the most sacred heart of Jesus. Allow me to praise your most holy virgin, and give me strength against your enemies. <laughs> 